Well, hello to you today. I just wanted to come on real quick and encourage you that no matter what you are going through, remember that we have a promise-making, covenant-keeping God. He keeps his promises. There's so much that comes to mind when we see or think about the rainbow, but I wanted to take some time out today and just remind you of the true meaning of God's rainbow. So join me in Genesis chapter 8 and chapter 9. I'm going to start with chapter 8 to just encourage you. This is the promise that God made. He says, you can trust him from the things that he says. Um, Genesis 8, 22 says, as long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, summer and winter, and day and night will not cease. So the world will continue to go on and on. And as long as the earth is in session, as seed time and harvest are taking place, cold and heat, day and night, you know that the Lord is still making his promises and keeping them. Genesis chapter 9 verses 12 through 14. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you. A covenant for all future generations. I have placed my bow in the clouds and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I form clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all the living creatures. Water will never again become a flood to destroy every creature. So this is the covenant that God made with us many, 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 many years ago. And even today, he is still keeping his covenant. Every time you look into the sky and you see a beautiful rainbow, you are to remember just as God is remembering the covenant, the promise that he made to all living creatures that he would never destroy the earth again with water. But this is also to be an example to you that as we see it year after year after year after year, as we see that beautiful rainbow, we remember that our father is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is a promise-making, covenant-keeping God. So you can take that for every situation, no matter what it is you may be going through. From the darkest dark time to the lightest light time that you may be enjoying. Find the promises of God that relate to whatever your situation is. And you can rest assured that whatever promise God has made for you, he will see it through. You're not alone. And you don't have to worry because God says weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. God says to your heart, hardest battle, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. The enemy you see today, you won't see anymore. Make sure you know the promises of God that concern you in your situation and make sure you study and read into them to find out what's your principle of that promise. What is it that you have to do? What's your part of the equation? God is going to forever keep his promises. You make sure you find out what your principles are and you stand on those things. Be encouraged today. No matter where you may find yourself standing today, I'd like to take a few moments of time out to just pray with you to make sure that you have taken the necessary steps to become not just a creation of God, but one of his children. You do that by giving your life to Jesus. A simple prayer that you say, Lord Jesus, I believe you are the son of God. You died and took my punishment for my sins so that I do not have to. You did not stay dead, but you rose to life, victorious over everything that could ever come against me. I choose you today to be the Lord of my life forever. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, take some steps to get yourself into a good church home. If you're not sure what you should be a part of, 
If you're not sure of a good place to be a part of, take a look at my Facebook page. There's ministries on there that I totally stand behind and can definitely vouch and recommend for you. Get your Bible. Invite the Holy Spirit to be a part of your Bible study to help you as you seek Jesus. That's all for now. And I'll see you next time on The Little Talks where we'll talk about all things relative to life and learning of the things of God. See you next time. This has been Dr. Candace Jones with The Little Talks where we'll talk about all things relative to life and learning of the things of God. See you next time. Mm -hmm.